hey um what's up guys welcome to my youtube channel um a lot of friends back on facebook wonder how do i upload gameplay videos recorded through fraps in hd into youtube um i know there are a lot of softwares like sony vegas but the way i do it is uh by using a software called adobe after effects so you, know, you may ask why do I use a video editing software for this um, I, well I use it for the main thing is like fraps records video in bits and not at a stretch so you have to you know like uh, combine all your fraps videos into one single vi one single video file so mm, that's what I'm gonna you know show you uh, show you about and uh, how to render in After Effects and uh, how do you compress it later on to get a very small file so that you can upload in YouTube without sacrificing your quality so here we go I'm just gonna run through the basics of After Effects so you know, it'll be easy for you guys to understand so this is After Effects so you have your project window your composition window and uh, this is why you load up everything but I'm just going to run through the basics, so don't you know get confused on all these tools over here. So how do I import a video over here? So just click on my project window and just double click. So once I double click, you can see that you know it, a window pops up. So from here you can select your Fraps videos. So for now I don't have anything, so I'm just going to load up my you know previous uh, game setups, setup files or something. So let me just do that. Give me a second. <coughs> I think this one. Okay. Okay, so I deleted all my Fraps videos. So I know you're pretty much confused right now. <laughs> so this is pretty much what I've done. So it's like an intro to my own gameplay. So it's like it brands that it, this is mine. No one has rights to copy it. <laughs> so then you know my bragging rights, you know, like my system specs and everything. And then comes the video. These whatever you call it. So this is how I do it. So let me just run through from the basics, you know, like I'll just upload a normal video. Mm. Oh my God, I'm all out of videos, but anyway, I'll just do this. So let's say this is my gameplay video and uh, you can't drag it so just click on the video and just click open Say for example if you have multiple video files just select all and click open it will open it So in this case I'm just going to select my test GK13 So I'm just going to open it so once this is open you'll get it over here Now you're wondering where is my video so all you have to do is just click on this drag it and drop it over here so you get a video in the composition panel so when I zoom out I get the entire view and for zooming out it's simple you just have to scroll your middle mouse button so you can zoom in and zoom out and uh, if you if you press spacebar you know you get this hand kind of tool so which makes I know easy, easier so that you can just drag wherever you want to and you know start working say if I'm zoomed in I can you know like if I want to go to this part I can just drag it by holding the space bar and left mouse button so that does it so let's get started so let's say this is my gameplay so this is from here it's only nine seconds so it's like this just comes in picks up the apple gets cat he sneak walks or sneak runs with a smiling and you know, expression that's it so he does that so let's uh, let's say like you know I want to add some title to this it's pretty simple what I do is I just click over here 
right click new solid layer and don't fiddle with any of these things you know just give okay so once you give okay what happens is it has created a new layer over here which is black so just drag it and drop underneath so you'll get this so what I'm gonna do is just click on the test video file and drag it and move it across the time frame so it's gonna start like this so my video starts from here or well, let's say from one second so it's gonna start from here so it's like it's starting exactly at one second okay so let's say uh, I'm gonna create some you know titling over here so all I have to do is right click new text layer now this you know opens up a text layer so I can type pretty much anything who I will want to so for this video I'm just gonna type in my animation my, no my test animation so this is what it's gonna be so I'm just gonna you know highlight it and to my right you'll find uh, a thing called characters over here so you can select your font whatever you want so you know it's like just tap the uh, uh, down arrow key so you can you know scroll through the text so it just goes like this so I just select this and uh, with that same thing highlighted you know I, I can just left click and uh, you know resize my font size or something and select say 100 or something like that and I just click and uh, you know now if this icon appears you can't select anything so it's like you can work only with your text layer so when I click over here what it does is it creates a new text layer I don't want that to happen so to make this thing disappear all I have to do is just click on this thing that is the selection tool or if you're so lazy to go up there just press V on your keyboard so I press V and I move it so this is gonna be my title so let's say it just starts but the main problem is it's still on my video I don't want that to happen so it's simple what I'm gonna do is like in the keyboard shortcut called control shift T so control shift T now this is this shortcut what it does is is used to you know cut the video in half uh, or the layer in half not the video you can do that for the video but for this uh, you know example I'm just gonna cut the text layer so say this is the slider so I can slide in to where I want to cut so the video starts from here at one second so I'll select the layer and then I'll press Control shift T uh, okay, something else happened. I'm not sure that shouldn't happen. Okay, this is a shortcut uh, Okay, I can't do that right now. Let's see Okay, so let's I'm back. Okay, I'm over here. Okay um, control shift. Okay, this opens a shortcut in Camstasia. I don't know what to do, but I'm gonna run, uh, you know, like go through another way. So let's see. Okay, I'm gonna tell you another simple way that's gonna fade in and fade out my test animations and it's gonna be invisible. One more smart way you can do is you can go to the end of the video file and just you know you can find that my cursor is like this but when I you know drag it and point it to the end it changes so this means I can drag my you know layer so it's like that's it so my text layer will appear only till here so voila so you can't find the test animation over here on my video and uh, right now let's add some uh, you know spice to it so it's like I go over here, this mini uh, whatever it's called. So what it does is if I click on it, it you know drops a few a uh, few more attributes to the uh, layer. So I can just go and uh, go to the transform thing, and you have something called opacity. So opacity kind of like gives you a smooth in and smooth out 
uh, so your video doesn't look like you know pop 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 so it's like pop and then it goes out pop so it's like that so it's instead of pop pop it's going to be like pop okay so that's what we are going to do and uh, to to be to able to, to able to do that you know it's pretty simple just click on this time or stopwatch icon just click on that so what it does it it sets a key over here so when, once it sets a key what you do is just click on this and change it to zero now you don't see my text what I do I move the time slider a bit and then I increase it to 100 now see what happens to this so it goes from pop and it's not <laughs> so it goes like that and uh, in the end in the same way I need that you know pull up so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, you know set another key to do that you have an option over here so this is to add or remove keyframe at the current time so all I do is click I'm done and when I go over here to set another keyframe let's say uh, or instead of going over there you can also type so when I type zero, it sets an automatic keyframe over there. So zero. So what happens is kind of like fades in. Fa I mean, so I'm sorry. It's kind of like fades out to the video. So this is what happens. So this is just the basic of you know how to add your name or whatever you want you know just, uh, to spice up your video a bit. So this is the thing, and uh, your video plays, and you're done. That's it. So now. Let's go to the rendering part. Before I even go to the rendering part, this is called uh, the work area. You know how it's it kind of like determines where the you know video starts and ends. So if I keep the slider or this work area over here, so it starts from starts rendering the scene from this point to this point over here. So always you know keep it from the start to the end unless you know you don't want to render a big file you know you can you know always like resize and render from here to here then you can do another render from here to here so that's the basic part so let's get to the rendering part so how do I render this so once we have set both these sliders to the extremes what I'm gonna do is press ctrl M on the keyboard okay so it's control M make sure that you are in test GK 13 or the video file you know yeah that you just created so press control M uh, okay 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 fine I have to close this oh my pretty much all my shortcuts is not working because of Camstasia what the heck okay okay this seems to open okay control M it's not working what the heck okay well, never mind that we can do it another way so it's like hmm <clears throat> yeah you, all you have to do is go to composition and you know make movie so what it does is it brings up the render queue so this is where you're going to render out your animation or I'm sorry the gameplay video so what you do is this is your output so you can save your file anywhere you want on your hard disk so you, all you have to do is just click on it and I'm gonna type you know sample and save so this will this entire video is going to be saved as sample and uh, you have something called output module and render settings so I'm just gonna cover you through this uh, so I'm just gonna click on lossless over here what it does is it'll open up a pop-up window over here and uh, this is where you set up the format for your video and your audio option say if you want to crop your video you can do it over here and uh, it's pretty much easy it's not like not too difficult so all I have to do is like you know click on this and what I have is a wide variety of option but the best option is always quick time so that's how you know I, I, I usually go for it so all you have to do is just click on quick time 
and uh, you have you would have something called a format option okay before you select quicktime you should have quicktime player installed in your system if it isn't if it is not installed it's not going to show up over here so make sure that you you know have quicktime in your system so once you're done with quicktime what you have to do is go to format op options and you would have your video codec so click on that uh, by default it will be selected to animation but please don't set it up to animation because it will result in a very huge file so if you go all the way down over here you have Sorenzo video 3 all you have to do is check on it so it just loads up fine don't touch anything else just click ok say if in case your video has audio so most of the gameplays do just check on this and leave everything to default do not change anything so click on audio output and you're done so quick time your format option is Sorenzo video 3 and click ok say if you want to resize your video all you have to do is check this resize and uh, let's say right now my resolution is this say I want it in a 720p so all I have to do is 1280 by 720p so that's that's it so but this video is not you know proportion kind of like a, uh, it's too detailed I can't talk about it but anyway I'll just stick to 280 I'll do, I'll do this. so now that is done um, usually you wouldn't get this problem while resizing but if you do get get it just you know uncheck this lock aspect ratio so that it gives you whatever resolution you wanted <clears throat> want the video to be in sorry <coughs> and click on ok and once you're done through that you have something called the render settings so just select you know on this and it'll open up a new window so this is where you set your quality you know keep it in best keep it in full and everything is same uh, you know as it is and over here it would uh, you know determine your uh, frames per second or what your videos frame rate is usually when you record through fraps it's depend it's, it's 30 fps or something so the video that you load up over there over here would be over here so it's not a big problem so keep this in best full and you're done okay once this is over just click on render so give it some time to render it will render up the entire scene And get up. Gives me that sound. That means it's rendered. Okay. So once we are done with that, I'm gonna go open up my video, which is sample. So I've got it as 14.6 MB. So this is where you have to be careful. Say you're doing a, a like say a seven minute video. Uh, uh, recorded through fraps, it will result in on about. Uh, like 26 GB if you are doing it in HD resolution so what happens is you'll get an uh, rendered file size of 8 GB or 6 GB depending upon the time and uh, the video length basically so um, say you get 8 GB or something you'd be wondering I can't upload an 8 GB file or, or more than uh, whatever 2 GB file into my YouTube it'll be it'll take too much of time so without you know losing your quality and everything I've got a software called any video converter so this kind of gets the job done pretty much easily so I recommend this for anyone who wants to upload HD videos so all I do is just drag my sample video and you know drop it over here it kind of loads up so if you are installing this for the first time it will be set in something else all you have to do is scroll down and come to common video formats and select on AVI so once I do that you have certain options over here so it's kind of like uh, determines uh, what kind of val values you want to have so once you have this all I have to do is like um, select uh, the resolution uh, that you're gonna upload to YouTube so I can select 1280 by 720 that's the video size so I'll just leave it to original 
and video bitrate what this does is say if what will happen if I set this to low is it will create a very very bad video it it will have all kinds of grains and screen tearings in it so you won't be able to watch the video but the file would be so small uh, make sure you know you set your video bitrate to 6000 uh, in between 6000 or you know 1200 um, something like that so there is a 1200 oh my god I'm sorry 12,000 yeah 12,000 so 6,000 to 12,000 anything would do good and you leave the frame rate to be in 30 because your video is in 30 don't mess up with the frame rates because you'll get a uh, choppy video later on and uh, you know you can select pretty much any of the audio codec so in this case it's going to be mp3 and uh, you know audio bitrate 128 and everything so that's it all I have to do is click on convert and this would do my conversion and voila we have a file which I suppose yes 1.42 MB uh, how small is that from 14.6 MB to 1.42 MB and the quality you do get pretty good quality so this is how I upload my video in uh, YouTube with substantial quality so I hope you know this would have helped you guys on how to you know like upload your HD videos into YouTube so hey and I'm stuck oh my god <laughs> and thank you and uh, once again my name is Karthik and Ganesh and see ya oh yeah and please to subscribe to my channel thank you